Hello and welcome to my world in a casual review. This time we're taking a look back at Star Trek Voyager Elite Force for the PlayStation 2. Uh, one of the few uh, PlayStation 2 games I've ever featured over on my Twitch channel. As uh, we are, the footage has it stuck on a loading screen, funny enough. <laughs> anyway, uh, Star Trek Voyager Elite Force came out on PC and the PlayStation 2 way back in the early 2000s. It is a first-person shooter, and you actually get your choice of who you get to play as, uh, either a male character or a female character, as in either Alexander or Alexandria Monroe, uh, who went to Starfleet Academy, they got to know uh, Lieutenant Worf, and... So there are subtle differences in the story with each character. Uh, with one character, you can uh, you manage to save a member of your team, and and another you don't. Uh, so there, there there are little subtle uh, changes there. The dialogue, as it relates to the NPCs, can be a little uh, come across differently depending on if you choose a ma to be a male or female character. Personally, I've always felt that playing as Alexandria uh, Monroe was better than playing as uh, than Alexander, just because certain things come across a lit uh, a bit better. Not to mention the actress who uh, supplies Alexandria's voice is better than uh, the person who who uh, gives a better performance than the person who provided the voice for the. Uh, for Alexander, it's kind of like the same thing with uh, Mass Effect. Where, uh, where you would have like the the huge uh, difference between uh, playing uh, the quality of Jennifer Harrell's voice acting as Shepard, as uh, opposed to uh, what was it Mark Mears' uh, performance? Uh, Jennifer Harrell's, Hales is far superior. So it's it's like it, again, I'm biased in, in, in that regard. Gameplay wise, it is your standard first person shooter. You do get a wide variety of weapons uh, from phasers, uh, standard uh, type 2 phasers to phaser rifles uh, to uh, various weapons that you pick up along the way, like a mini photon launcher um, and, and things of, of that sort. You face a wide variety of enemies, so again, uh, from, from the Borg to Klingons to the mirror universe shockingly enough the story uh is kind of falls perfectly within the uh star trek voyager uh plot lines where okay voyager comes across a probe uh they destroy it and get and end up being transported to an alien graveyard uh excuse me a ship uh graveyard and they have to find their way out uh Instead of it being a typical 40 minute made for television episode, you get like a, a sprawling adventure focusing on a group of secondary characters. You, the entire cast of Voyager uh, does uh, uh, provide their Voyagers. So Kate Mulgrew is, you hear Kate Mulgrew as uh, Janeway, Robert Beltran as uh, Chakotay, Garrett Wang as, uh, as Harry Kim. Uh, Robert Picardo as the doctor and so forth. The one big uh, jarring thing is, particularly as it relates to the PlayStation 2 version, is that you you it's pretty obvious that Jerry Ryan's dialogue was recorded last or 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 la or last minute because it is of a different uh, quality and there are certain like um, sound mixing that is that doesn't quite. Um, match uh everyone else uh, you also get like a, a secondary character that was introduced uh the uh, bowling that is on board here the character of chell is a member of your team now this is uh one of the cooler aspects of of, of star trek voyager elite force is you're not always alone you do have a squad around you normally consisting of two or three characters uh, uh of your of your hazard team uh sometimes you might have a member of voyager's main crew with you either uh notably tuvok or seven a lot uh, seven of nine will come with you but for the most part you have these secondary characters that are exclusive to this game with the exception of chell and they all have really ball uh broad personalities you got a uh 
you have a Vulcan with you. You have the over the top uh, character of uh, Beesman who goes out as a total badass. It's like he's a he's a jerk, but he gets to go out in a big bad her- heroic way towards the end of the game. Uh, you, you get uh, not too many boss fights. At the very end of the game, you get like a a big boss fight where it's you versus the four gentity and you uh, are unloading everything you have in your arsenal to defeat it uh so it's uh it's it can be overwhelming depending on your difficulty choice unless you were really good with uh first person shooters on the playstation 2 uh, or uh pc at, at the time again this is from game is from the early 2000s but that is where there are plenty of cheat codes from infinite health to infinite ammo to replenishing your ammo or health uh, it, 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 to make the game easier and a joy to play through. If you, if, I, I remember sinking whole days, uh, like whole Saturdays and Sundays playing this game. Just put, put the cheat codes on and just tear through it uh, start to finish. Um, it, so it's... Uh, uh, it is one of those games I, I put in the same realm as I will put like the early Doom, like Doom 1, Doom 2, Duke Nukem 3D, where it's like, okay, you know what? I got nothing to do. Let, let's load up a game, put the put on God mode, and just go to town and have some serious fun. Now, uh, Star Trek Warrior Elite Force does have a multiplayer mode. I know it's better on the PC version, obviously, because you would have had like the been able to make use of the internet for like get some proper matchmaking. But on the console version, you got your split screen death match and you get a nice variety of maps uh, based on either uh, sh- ship locations or lo- or things you see within the game. Uh, there, in terms of variety, there are some puzzles, jumping puzzles. Uh, uh, where you are uh, ex- encouraged to explore, find the solutions, um, and it can be a little bit. There are times where you can get turned around on, on some levels. The uh, the uh, base you go to that has the Klingons and the mirror universe. <laughs> Excuse me. And even Hyrogen uh, hanging out is a, a massive sprawling base. It's linear. But there are some sections where I would almost always get turned around uh, because the corridors uh, could end up looking the same. Um, now, I believe, or at least I remember hearing at some point in time, the PC version did get a re-release over on, uh, what's it called, uh, GOG, uh, Galaxy of Games. I've never really looked into that. Um, but if it did, um, I would highly encourage anyone uh, checking up, uh, checking it out, uh, because it is a Star Trek game. If it, you, you definitely captures the feel of Voyager, it, it is a quantity first-person shooter. Uh, there is uh, very little negatives I have about this uh, uh, game. Uh, granted, I'm speaking about this game uh, with the proverbial rose-tinted glasses. Um, uh, just having very, very fond memories of it. I mean, uh, so, but again, that's why I call this a casual review. It's, uh, I'm not being professional about this. I am gushing over why, uh, I enjoy uh, this game or uh, <laughs> particularly all these years later. I mean, it's the last time I played, it was like 2020, uh, before the COVID pandemic hit and it it was a real treat uh, to sit down and play it. Matter of fact, I'm half tempted to hook up the PlayStation 2 uh, and uh, and do another stream of, of this game and probably get better quality footage than what I have here, considering I was using a SCAT card at, at the time when I, when I streamed it. Uh, but uh, again, it, it is a game I have very mom, uh, very fond memories of. Every time I go back to it, 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 it it's just a, a, a real joy to play. I mean, it's um, it's Star Trek. It's a first person shooter, and uh, and uh, it does raise the question. And in case anybody asks, did I ever play Star Trek Voyager Elite Force Two? No, I did not because I could 
never find a copy of it for sale anywhere where I lived uh, back in the early 2000s when that game came out. And that was a PC exclusive, um, uh, which really disappointed me. In addition to the fact that uh, that if this focused on Alexander Monroe, the male character, and you didn't get the female character option with it, so that probably also led to me not really pursuing it. It's like, dude, I like the female character with this game and how it fit. Uh, but uh, that's uh, neither here nor there. Anyway, if you have any memories about Star Trek Voyager Elite Force, uh, please put them in the comments section below. I, I would love to uh, 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 read what your memories were of it. And and again, I, I really should consider playing this game again at some point on, on, on Steam. Maybe dedicate a... A, a a a full play session of it, uh, j just uh, uh, just to revisit it and for nostalgia purposes. Uh, so with that said, uh, thank you very much. Tighten your friendship bracelet. Stay safe, and we'll see you over on my Twitch channel, or obviously on the next video here on YouTube. Bye.